Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to Kurno EXP live stream yet again, folks. Oh, I'm getting a bit tongue tied there. Right, um, just got to do something a minute. Right, what are we up to? We're going to be painting this firefly. Uh, I've given it one coat, but we're going to give it another coat, folks. So this might be boring. So if you don't like boring stuff, don't feel that you've got to stay with us, folks, because it's going to be a long-winded one, I think. Right, so what are we going to do? We're going to paint the front of the aircraft. We're using NATO green, which is probably not the original color, but... This is the colour that I've chosen, which I like a lot indeed. So let's paint, 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 paint. I like to paint. Oh, yes, I like to paint. Paint the aircraft. Giga, 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 goo. Gig, gig, gig. So we're getting close to a thousand videos on YouTube now, folks, which I just can't believe that. It's just amazing. So thanks for being part of the journey. We just want to get up to a thousand videos. And then once we get to a thousand videos, we're going to do a special video for the thousands of that 1000 edition of Kurno EXP. So this one might be boring. So like I said, if you're watching a pre-record, then thanks for stopping by. It's, uh, it's not really a video that's uh, meant to be that entertaining, really. It's just that we're trying to get to the... 1,000 videos on YouTube tubes on YouTube. So we're going to get there, folks. We're going to get there. Oh, yes. Can't believe I've got almost got 1,000 videos. It's just crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy. So this is going to have to be painted again by the looks of it because the paint is not going on as well as I would like. So yeah, this is just random video, folks. If you're not really interested in models, I would not I would suggest you not stay, because it's going to be a boring one. Right, so front is getting there now. Yeah, if you're not into model aircraft or anything like that, then it's no point staying along, folks, because it's, it's just, you know, this is going to be a, just a random, boring video. I'm sorry to say. Uh, I'm not really showing you what I'm doing at the minute, which is not very good, is it? But there you are. So we're going to do this aircraft, and then we're going to go on to the other one you can see in the foreground there. Moving on to that in a minute. What is that aircraft? Well, thanks to Shane. You know who you are. There it is, folks. I've seen one of these when I was in the Air Cadets in Red Roof, 77 Squadron. So if you was in the Air Cadets, then you'll know exactly what I'm on about. If you're not, then you've got no hope. You know, you'll never know. You'll never know. Right, so let's get this show on the road. Let's get the camera area and everything set up so you guys can see what we're actually doing. Let's move that one out of the way. 
Right, there we go. So we're going to paint the very top of this now with this paint. This only had one coat. And that's the landline going. Might have to come off stream is that, if that's for me, folks. Who's that for? Who is it? Uh. Blimey, that's looking better already. Oh, tomorrow, you mean? Oh, next week, right, yeah. Right, so you can see a difference already, folks. There we go, so it's starting to look good now. So what we'll do now is we'll turn it around and do the opposite side. So, there we go. Starting to look very nice. That is looking very nice indeed. Mm. If I do say so myself, yes. Mm. 
Right, let's turn it around and do the opposite side, yes. I have there. So one of these aircraft actually crash landed in Cornwall not too long ago. There was a problem with the aircraft. I think well the aircraft was um, put back to flying condition again, so it is back up there, but it. Uh, and it crashed again down at the lizard folks which is we've been down that way quite a bit of late right let's get that over here so i know exactly where it crashes it was actually i think it was a couple of years ago and uh it landed where we was flying the drone the day before i can believe it you know, what are the odds of that? Right, let's get this bit done so then we don't need to worry about doing that again. There we go. Super. Hello to the one person there. If you can say something, that would be good. That would say that uh, you're a real person and not a uh, computer-generated twit. <laughs> oh, you must have been a troll. Oh, well, never mind. Trolls can troll off. We don't like trolls. Seem to get a lot of uh, trolls at time when it comes to putting links to pornographic stuff. Don't know why they do it because as soon as they've done it, what I do is I block them, ban them, and bloody report them. So, you know, a bunch of bloody idiots wasting your time. They ain't going to get anywhere with me. Hell no. Yeah, from time to time, folks, these trolls, what they do is they put links to porno sites, which really gets me pissed right off. It really does, pardon my language, but, you know, just telling it like it is, it really pisses me off. So every single one I get, they get reported, they get muted, and they get blocked, because I ain't having it. Hell no. I work hard on YouTube and I don't want bullshit like that. A lot of effort goes into my videos. A lot of people don't realize that, but it's true, you know. Then you get people like that doing that. It's just disrespect. This aircraft is now done, so we're going to move on to this one now. So, now we'll get the wings done on this one, or part of the body. Right, so we'll just we'll just do the top part of this aircraft, and because we've got to do more than one coat, you see.
Okay. Right, let's log out of Facebook. There we are. And we're back in the room. <laughs> right. So as you can see, folks, this is going to need another coat this this paint is uh, it doesn't like just one coat So this colour is NATO green. I like NATO green a lot. You might have noticed that. The reason I like it is because it's stealthy, folks. Mm. If I had my way, everything I own would be NATO green. But uh, if we're selling any of the things on, then obviously not everybody likes it, do they? <clears throat> so it's not really practical to do everything that colour. But if I... If I could, I would. Right, so we'll do the side bit here now. There's some parts that need to go on there, I think. I'm going to address that soon. So after this video, folks, we're only five away from 1,000 videos on YouTube, which is absolutely amazing. Absolutely. Mind you, this is, to get this amount of videos on here, it's, it's, this is basically, this channel started in 2015. So it's... It's been a while, <laughs> not an overnight thing. People say that I'm new at YouTube. I'm not new at YouTube. I've been on it for a long time. It's basically really thanks to the drones, really, that have uh, made the channel as it is now. So I would like to thank a lot of people out there. IKS, Ian Stead, Chris, number one fan. For their in keeping us inspired because uh, I've been watching IKS for ooh, it could be about eight years now and I would like to thank the secret vault for keeping us inspired as well because he's kept us kept the inspiration going because sometimes I've been out there and I just think oh Bob bugger it like you know but uh, yeah, so it's thanks to him and uh, a couple other YouTubers out there. But uh, there is days, folks, when I don't feel like doing anything. And obviously life and work commitments and so on and so forth get in the way sometimes of doing the videos. But uh, once we get monetized, we'll be doing probably two, maybe three videos a week. So we're not really that far off, really, when you think about it. Because it make, it'll make things worthwhile, you know. 
I'd like to thank uh, everybody that's donated to the uh, to the channel and uh, that keeps the inspiration going keeps us wanting to get out there to do more videos for you guys so we will we are going to continue keeping everybody entertained I'd like to thank the team members uh, wife Charlie boy Chris Sophie and all the others that are associated you know, I'd like to thank Adam from two world exploration for giving us uh, some locations and that you know and uh, coming with us on some very important explorers like the bunker that uh, I knew about for a while for quite some time really right so let's just do the front bit of this how long have we been on 21 minutes Looking right there. All right, let's turn her around and do the opposite side, folks. I've noticed um, with a lot of YouTubers that were out there, um, they've given up, you know, completely given up, like some van lifers that we was watching. They've just stopped making the videos. I don't know why, you know. Just people, people these days don't have staying power, do they? You know, it's not good, that. I'll tell you something, folks. Kerno EXP is, gonna, is around for the duration. We're not going anywhere. We are always going to produce at least one or two videos a week. That's the, well, the minimum will be one video a week. That is the absolute minimum that I will do. Even if the weather is pants, we're still going to make a video. Uh, we've got staying power, you see. Not like some of these other people. I'm not going to mention who they are, but uh, you can probably guess. Van lifers, folks. Obviously, they're not living in a van anymore. And they're not living off grid, if you want to call it that. Right, so let's give this another coat down the side because that will dry quite nicely. Yeah, we're hoping to work with um, Adam again from Two World Exploration very soon, hopefully, on a a NATO or Cold War bunker because I want to so we've been there before but we didn't get inside the bunker so I think Adam will want to go in the bit that we want in and I want to go in the bit that he went in so it's kind of like uh, that works out quite well indeed really doesn't it like Adam said on one of his videos he did I think it was today um, the weather has changed I am a little bit weather independent, folks, because we ride a motorcycle and not really keen on riding a bike in the rain. Not really, even though we've got wet water gear, but it's just this it comes. A, it's just a pain in the in the what you know what. So we I'm not saying we won't go out in the, in the rain, but. We're going to try our best not to because we don't like getting wet. Only time I get wet is when I have a shower. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's the time of year when the weather does go down the pan a bit. 
But uh, we, we will be doing um, videos, you know. I'm not sure I'm not, but we are. We will. Right, there we go. There you are, folks. I hope you enjoyed our little stream of uh, painting these two aircraft. The next bit we do is when, once they've dried is to put the transfers on the Firefly. So that will be the next part on that. And then once we've got that on, we can pretty much put it on the ceiling on display. So this is pretty much the end of the stream now, folks. So um, I just want to go over one other thing a minute before we finish up completely. What's along that? We bought a, a new light. Get it without it falling off. Good. <sighs> right, so we're going to continue with the paranormal theme, and uh, we bought that recently. We've had this for a while, which is a, a base. It's a U. It's a U shape, basically. And that's for the cameras. And I bought this. Now, it's a bit awkward here at the minute. So the desk area is a bit chaotic. So we'll just slide you over there. So this is a... There's the, the make. And how you turn it on, I think, is... Is it that one? It might be flat right now. But it's... um. It color changes and uh, it's got loads of different settings on it high, low, medium, and all that jazz. I don't know if it's that one you turn on, is it? I, don't know, I can't remember now. It's been a while since I used it, it's gone flat. But um, yeah, we're going to be doing, uh, like I said before, a little bit of paranormal um, very soon. Should have done it the other night, really, but uh, the weather. Did not play ball again. As I said, we are a bit uh, weather dependent here at Kerner EXP. So um, it's got a spirit box. We've got a K2. And obviously there's the K2 there, folks, as you can see. Is it going to go off? Is there any spirits here? Step towards the green light. Any spirits? Any spirits? Step forward. No, no one. Oh, well, they're going up there having their tea, aren't they, folks? Yeah, so we're going to use this um, in conjunction with that U shaped bracket and with the GoPro 5 and with the mics. And we're going to do a, an experiment somewhere. Uh, I said to somebody recently that uh, I think it was the Pen Gerzer's Paranormal Pansies or whatever they're called that they should uh, do an investigation near some engine houses and that and they did and they got quite a bit of activity so uh, yeah so we'll be doing something like that over the next couple of weeks maybe two weeks we'll be doing something like that uh, we're going to be doing a lot more drone flights so there you are folks so keep yourselves posted and we will be releasing videos through um obviously at the moment probably we're trying to get to a thousand videos so we're i think this will be 995 including this video so we've got quite a few up there so we're going to get over the next couple of days try and get another five more videos done we're really bumping them out this week once we get to a thousand videos, then we'll knock it down to possibly two a week because I don't, I don't want to make the videos, um, just putting videos up for, for the sake of it. I want to be able to do 
good quality videos like we have been doing, folks. So this stream, the live stream is probably not the best quality, so I do apologize. But anyway, we'll see you very soon. Look after yourselves. And from all of us here at Kerno EXP, look after yourselves. And until the next video, which won't be too long, cheers and gone.